Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today I've decided it's time to get started in the water. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be hopping on the back of Rhino Nanthia here. And I got an Ichthyosaur already picked out, level 80. It's not the highest one in the area, but I figured for what we're about to do, it should be pretty easy because there is a 150 Megalodon way down over there on that side of the island. So I figured we would just be using the Rhino Nanthia here. I already got everything I need. It is a passive tame, so I'm going to just quickly, before I forget, scoot everything over. Throw the kibble on. As you can see, I do got some scuba gear. Uh, one of them I did craft up. I did ha craft me up the scuba tanks. These are all just other ones that I've had from drops. But the scuba tank ones should work. I think the only other one I crafted might have been the leggings as well. But, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Is that an elf megalodon already? Seriously? Oh, now that the ichthyosaur is after me. Thank you, megalodons. I need to take out the megalodons without killing the ichthyosaur. There's three of them. You know what? If I... I forgot my trank arrows. Alright. Techni- oh, This thing- He's moving fast enough, alright? Ichthyosaur- Or, no. Rhino Nanthia is moving fast enough for me in the water, honestly. He's probably- He's moving faster than the Nickthy. So, why don't I just skip the Ichthyosaur, alright? Because I was thinking I was going to need, need that, alright? I'll just skip the Ichthyosaur for now. And we will look for a Megalodon nearby. There's a 150 right there. I see him. Uh, that's him. Right? Yeah, that's him. So. Let's. Alright, let's stop at the base. I gotta get my Trank arrows. I'm pretty sure I should be able to just do it on the back of this. Alright. It's gonna be easier than on the Ichthyosaur. Because I'm gonna have to hop off the back of the Ichthyosaur to shoot Tranks. Okay, so I got what I needed. I also remember to make sure to go and grab superior kibble this time. I also grabbed some raw mutton, just in case 13 isn't enough. I believe 13 should be enough, especially on this... On two times here with a uh, single player settings turned on. That's level 80. Level 15. Ooh. Oh, we're at the bottom. Jeez. I don't like this. Honestly, this is kind of creepy. But... It's one... Two... I can probably so slowly bring him to the surface. Three... Four... Five... Six. I can't even... I missed that one. There we go. Oh, we're at the surface. Okay. That's perfect. Land on the water, please, buddy. I don't think they're going to target him while he's walking on water. But, what that does mean for me, though, is I can just shit on this... Uh, I should probably not be saying that word. But I can just shoot and shoot this Megalodon. He can't do a thing about it. Oh, I just accidentally did my... Uh, what is it called? Oh, he's out! He's out. Okay. That means de-equip that. I got to watch for other Megalodons in the area. I should not be doing a racist thing. That was, I did not even mean to do that. I was just thinking I should not add Megalodons in the area. And for some reason that voice decided to do it. Okay. Get rid of these Megalodons. You guys can be my prime fish meat for the week. I need to actually need some fish meat for some of my guys, I believe. Mm. 
nice. Um, uh, should I go get it? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna go do this real quick. So while he is... Oh, I haven't even tracked him properly yet. Oh, uh, it's this. Alright, so taming in progress. Uh, bloop. Bloop. Okay, he should be good. But what I want to grab is my, uh, what are they called? My one big deer. The one so I can see his stats. The CV? The Siva? What are you called? Yeah, Siva Thu. Siva Theorium. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me. Alrighty. Dropping him in. Boom. Land, please. Thank you. So I can now hop off. Hop in you. Boom. We're gonna go for a little bit of a dive here, buddy. Um. Ooh, he has a 37 in health. That's perfect. I just now noticed it. I... Right? It's hard to tell. Because I also have that thing. Yes, it's a 37 in health, 33 in stamina, and 30 in melee. Damn. I really hope I get all good stats on you. I really do. Because you, ha you have a really good chance of all three of those stats being good. Okay. Ugh. Gotta get in the... I, no, I need to ride the hue, buddy. And we'll pull you out of the water. And just like that, I have checked his stats. But he has 37 into health, right? That is absolutely going to hit 40. So I know I'm good on the health on my Megalodons once I do them in the genetic library. If Well, that's if I don't lose this guy. And that's also if I get a perfect taming. So, Also, if you guys didn't know, I did add the Civitherium here to the genetic library. So now we're down to two creatures. Uh, the Gigaraptor and the Civitherium. Uh, and I know I said last week I'm not posting any videos. Technically, that is this week. Uh, it's Wednesday. I'm feeling better. But I'm still going to stick to it. So i got three more days this week with no more videos. You guys have probably already been... Yeah, it's already been Monday and Tuesday, you guys. I haven't seen many comments about it. But I hope you guys understand. I also just realized this as well. I crafted that scuba gear... So that way I could go tame this thing. I have not even been using it. Like, I'm in the water. Look at this. I'm. That's not my oxygen. That's his oxygen. My oxygen is not moving. I don't know why. Okay, so I've let him starve up about 400 here. So we're going to dive in. There's nothing really around. So just dive in, hop off. Oh, shoot. I forgot. When as soon as I hop off, this guy's going to start floating up. Isn't he? Actually, no, he shouldn't because I have him on follow now. If he wasn't on follow, he'd float. He, he'd be a floater. So, he's going to eat that. And boom! That is us a Megalodon. So, I'm going to just have him quickly follow me back to the base here. He's definitely faster in the water than... I am there because he's trying to he's sprinting to keep up Here. he'll follow I don't know how fast though oh he's pretty quick technically technically I could just use the rhino nanthia to do the water caves. In theory, I could. 130 to try to roll up on us. My Megalodon is chomping. That's got to be some levels for the Megalodon. Let's get him back up here in base. Once he's over in here, he should be safe. Okay. That's probably as safe as you're going to get for now. Um, I got to keep my... 
There's a tuna. <laughs> a tuna. But it's a tuna. There's a tuna under my docks. I don't trust that Megalodon out there. You know? He just doesn't give me the right trustful vibes. That's an alpha. Rhino, Rhino. Why am I reloading? He's going straight for my Megalodon. Oh, is he too big? I think he's too big to come this far up on my dock. Up in Uno Passive. Level 50. I gotta take it out. The Megalodon's gonna help. I lost track of him. On my megalodon. Oh, we got him. Where's my megalodon going? You follow me. Okay. What did he drop? Nothing fancy, but I'll take the fins. Ugh. Let me hop on you. Okay, you come back this way, Megalodon. I want you back over in here. Is that one of my guys? Oh, I'm an idiot. I know why. Gotta be careful when I whistle. Those are my guys. I'm whistling attack target. That's what it was. These guys wanted to go attack the Megalodon. Oh no, not the Quetzal, not the Quetzal, not the Quetzal! Why did you have to be stupid and land like that? Where's that Pterodon going as well? I just saw him flying. Did one of my Pterodons just decide to leave? Oh no, there he is. Okay. Gotta get my Quetzal landed back down. You took some damage, my man. <laughs> he landed in the spikes, which was just perfect. I need to grab my Rhino and get him out of the way of the Quetzal. I'll move the Quetzal here in a bit. But I need to get me a Megalodon saddle, in which I'm pretty sure I have the stuff to do that. Oh, that was T. I need to R dismiss. Thank you. Now, and we go into here and clear Dino Thunder. Okay, and Megalodon Saddle. Mega. That's the wrong one. Megalo. Megalodon. 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 I need cementing paste. Hide in fiber. Hide. Fiber. Cementing paste? Yep. Uh, may. I probably have a Megalodon saddle that's higher quality in one of the vaults back there. I don't know why I just didn't go and look for one of those. I, like, it's just, it just now popped into my mind. Like, wait, I have stuff for this. And, yeah. Is that really? Hold up. Oh, I was just being a dunce. I'd spaced off what was actually in my inventory. I can't even believe I haven't used any of that. It seems like there's a little bug where I'm on the back of the Rhino Nanthia. And I'm not losing any oxygen. So, I'm gonna... After this episode, I'm gonna reload. Hopefully that fixes the problem with the oxygen. But yeah. Also, you got a green mouth. Ooh, also, while you're here, what we need to do is check your stats again. Now that you have tamed, you know? 
because now we got us a Megalodon. This thing's awesome. Dun, dun. All right, so again, we do need names for this guy. Uh, please, nobody suggest Jaws, because uh, that one I will not do. But we're not doing Jaws. So we'll park you right here. Ugh. Oh, you're following the Rhino Nanthia. There we go. That fixes the problem. We need to hop on you. And you can check his stats. Ah! 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 Look at that. Look at that. That's a 54 health. 45 stamina. Okay, and then the other three there do not matter. Oxygen doesn't matter. And then melee is a 40, all right? So the only stat I would really consider looking for in my next 150 is melee, all right? Because I would just love to have a higher melee. That's all I want now for Megalodons, which is perfect. Also, I need to show you guys those guys. I've not shown you them. So let me pop out this one here. And I'll show you what their stats are in the genetic library. So this one is a complete one. That's that's the one where if this guy ever dies, that that's where we're going to get the replacement from. So I didn't really go too overboard here with them. So I got 44 in health, 42 in stamina. That Those came from the mo mother, I believe. And then the melee all came from the father, which is a 49. In which those stats I probably didn't need to focus on. The only ones I really needed to focus on for this one were uh, a higher stamina and a higher uh, health. Because that's what the was the thermal vision here, what I'm doing right now. That's slowly, slowly draining down the stamina if we look. See? Stamina on him is dropping a bit. I have increased it though. So. I'm going to get this guy put away back in the genome. Um, also, I've named uh, the Giga Raptor there Kevin, like you guys wanted. I know that's the name you guys wanted for the pink one, but this guy seemed more like a Kevin to me, all right? He's more of a Kevin. And apparently, uh, when I like go out and I tame wild babies like that, they will get an imprinting boost. The only one I've really seen it done with is Allosaurus's, where this guy went out, he claimed a bunch of baby Allosaurus's, and built an army. Basically, like, he had his orphan army. Okay, so now I know I did say I was going to start getting in the water today, and then once again I got sidetracked with Kevin and the stuff he's doing. Be it. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, though, what I'm going to try and do here is we're going to go level Megalodon. This one here. This shiny boy here. So that shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to go... Are there any underwater explorer notes I could grab with on him? I don't know. Because we might go do explorer notes one video and then that's actually probably what we're going to do here. So what we'll do is we'll go do all the explorer notes next episode that I can get on his back in those caves. And then from there we will go and do uh, the cave. The first cave. The one that we need for the Megopithecus. Because we're going to fight the gorilla next. And... I think here on Friday, I'm going to be posting a video of me fighting the Broodmother again. I've gone back and I've changed something in her drop pool. I've changed basically the boss's drops. So I should get more element. I should get some tech blueprints. And then on top of that, I should even get the Broodmother Chibi. Because that's the one I added. Uh, I made sure that the Broodmother drops her Chibi. So, as well, Artifact Cave should also give me tech engrams. And a tiny bit of element, like only like 10, 15. Well, the bosses should give me like, oh, like thousands. No, well, not really thousands. About a thousand or so. I think the max the Broodmother can give me is five, or it's 750. Let me think. I know. I think I know what it is. But Broodmother is not over a thousand. I know the Megapithecus is near a thousand. And that the Dragon's over a thousand for the element drops on Alpha, mind you. The Gamma and the Beta also have their own custom drops and all that. But yeah. Anyways, if you guys have liked the video today, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, we are currently running a sub goal and a membership goal. So for the membership goal, that's for the channel, YouTube, the membership ch for the YouTube channel, I guess. YouTube members and all that. 
uh, channel members. And once we hit 10 YouTube channel members, what we will be doing is opening up an ARC exclusive server for them. So basically that's the members goal. And then for the sub goal this year, we're trying to get 10,000 subs. We're already skyrocketing it to 2,000, so I'm absolutely certain we can hit 10. And yeah, if you guys have found this video again, once again, please leave a like and subscribe. This has been Gun Drive Mori.